let's keep working with the example of the black and white mice where b1 over b1 are black b2 over b2 are white and b1 is dominant in particular we are going to discuss the naming of generations and crosses and so here we have a particular cross between two pure breeding lines we know these individuals are pure breeding because they are homozygous either for the b1 allele or the b2 allele individuals in, in this uh, generation are called the parental or P generation let us quickly work out the genotypes of the progeny resulting from this cross and it's really simple since they're homozygous all the gametes produced by the second individual will be B2 and all the gametes produced by the first individual will be B1 giving rise to all heterozygous individuals and so we can write that in the next generation all the individuals will be B1 over B2 that's the genotype what about the phenotype since B1 is dominant all heads are going to be black individuals in this generation are referred to as the first filial or the F1 generation now we can carry this on further and take two individuals in the first filial generation and cross them to each other so let's say I will take one individual over here and cross this individual to another individual in the first filial generation and I'm going to refer you to the video about monohybrid crosses but we know that this will result in a one B1 B1 homozygote to two B1 B2 heterozygote is to one B2 B2 homozygote Gen genotypic ratios and uh, the, the phenotypes are going to be black over here black over here and white over here giving us a three black is to one white phenotypic ratio and we worked this out before this is a monohybrid cross and you usually get a 3 is to 1 um, ratio in favor of the dominant allele now these individuals that are the progeny of the first filial generation are referred to as the second filial or F2 generation this example highlights how 
recessive traits such as the white uh, coat color of mice hair can skip generations. There are no white mice in the F1 generation, but they reappear in the F2 generation. And incidentally, this is the observation that led Mendel to propose his law of equal segregation because he realized that the alleles for the two traits must be getting separated in the gametes in order for the recessive trait to reappear in the F2 generation. Furthermore, the alleles must be segregating equally. That means that there must be equal numbers of gametes carrying each allele. Otherwise, you would not obtain the 3 is to 1 ratio that Mendel observed in his crosses. Next, let's discuss a special type of cross called the test cross. Let's say the allele B1 for black coat color is dominant. Let's say you are given a mouse whose coat color is black, so you know the phenotype. What genotype would it have? Well, if it's black, it could be either B1 over B1, homozygous for the black allele, or this black mouse could also be heterozygous. Um, B1 over B2 since B1 allele or the black trait is dominant. And the question is, how can we determine what genotype this mouse has? And so what we can do is do a test cross. And a test cross is that we will take this black individual and cross them to a white individual. Now, if you have a white mouse, since white is the recessive trait, you know the genotype of this mouse. It must be B2 over B2. What will happen if this black mouse um, that we are trying to determine um, the genotype of is homozygous for the B1 allele. Then the cross would be B1 over B1 crossed to B2 over B2. And we can work out the Punnett square. All the gametes produced by the white individual will be carrying the B2 allele, whereas all the gametes produced by the black individual, who we are assuming in this case on the left is homozygous for the B1 allele, will be B1. And when these gametes fertilize each other, you will get all B1 over B2 individuals who will have the phenotype of black. So they will be all black or all dominant. On the other hand, if this um, individual is actually heterozygous, this black individual whose genotype we are trying to determine, and we cross them to the white individual who is B2 over B2, that will result in a Punnett square that looks like this. The white individual will give rise to only one type of gamete carrying the B2 allele, 
whereas the heterozygous black individual will produce half gametes that are B1 and the other half that are B2. And when we carry out the fertilization of these gametes, you will get zygotes that are B2 over B2 and B1 over B2. Now, in order to determine the proportions of these two different types of zygotes, these two different types of genotypes, we can utilize the product rule since we are looking at two independent events, let's say getting a B1 sperm and a B2 egg, and we are computing the probability of these two events happening together. So event one happening and event two happening, we can multiply the probabilities. So half times one gives half B1 over B2, zygotes or progeny, and similarly, half times one is half B2 over B2 um, progeny. Now, as far as the genotype is concerned, these individuals, um, the B1 over B2 individuals, will be black in phenotype, in coat color, since the B1 allele is dominant, whereas the B2 over B2 individuals are going to be white, since they're homozygous for the recessive allele, and we will then get a one is to one black is to white, or a one is to one dominant is to recessive phenotype um, ratio. And depending on the outcome, if we cross this black individual whose genotype we want to determine with a white individual and we receive all black individuals, then we will conclude that this individual was B1 over B1. On the other hand, if upon crossing them, we get a 1 is to 1 black is to white ratio, we will conclude that this individual must have been heterozygous. And so this uh, test cross is an important cross that allows you to de determine um, uh, in an individual who is showing the dominant phenotype whether their genotype is homozygous for the dominant allele or is it heterozygous. And this genotype or this individual who is homozygous for the recessive allele is known as the tester.